So this video, I want to do some demonstration on Miss Manny Quinn here because there is a problem that some people have and you maybe you've experienced it. I've had some questions in the comments from specifically um, Miss Alp, A-L-P, and she's had some good questions about this. Why does my ear bend forward? And I've had that happen. So these are some of the reasons what's causing it and what we can do to eliminate that. So the first thing is improper fit is why it may be doing that. So you always want to make sure that we're getting that circumference right around. This is the circumference. So back below towards the nape, behind the ears and up around the front hairline. So that's your circumference measurement. The other measurement that is so important and so often we don't take this measurement and that is to go above the ear over the head to the other side of the ear. That's super important if you want a really great fit. Now I go even further, and let me demonstrate by putting my glasses on Manny Quinn, is that I like to measure from above where my glasses are over to the other side, right above where the rims are. That way I'm going to get a really precise fit because this wig, for instance, that I'm wearing is Star from Ellen Villa. And on this one, this wig grip, see that? There is space between the end of the ear tab and where the top of my earlobe is. So that right there is going to give me that comfort when I put my glasses on that these tabs aren't bending round and over. Have you had that happen? You put it on and now you're squishing those ear tabs around the arms of your frames. That's the reason why it should be right above it. If you get the right fit, that's why this measurement is so crucial for that type of comfort level. So let me take these off. Those ring lights are just terrible. Okay, the other one that you want to get to make sure of is that front line to the back. So everybody's head is shaped different in the back. So you wanna make sure you're getting that as well so that you're not gonna have a lot of bulk back here and then the wigs slide up. So that is my first thing, measure and get a precise measurement. Go to the website, go to the brand of wigs. So if this is Ellen Villa or whatever other wig you're going to be looking at, there is a place like on uh, wigs.com where they have measurements and every brand has their specific measurements for their size of caps. So not all caps are created equal. For instance, I'm wearing Ellen Villa and it tends to run a little bit closer to the petite, petite average. Now they are making more and expanding their sizes. So always check their, the website to see if in that particular wig you're going to be able to get a different size of cap because they are listening and coming out with more. Okay, so that's the first thing, but what if you're wearing a wig grip? Now, because this Ellen Villa star fits me so perfectly and snug, I do not wear a wig grip. I don't need to, it's not going anywhere. I don't have a wig grip on now, and I could shake this up and down, and it's not gonna fly off, and it's not gonna go anywhere. So if it fits snug, and you can have adjusters in the back so you can snug it down and pull that down even more, it's gonna not go anywhere. But the wig grip is for that security level where you wanna feel like it's just not going anywhere further than that. But let me explain something. And I think this is so important and key. So when you buy a wig grip, see this extra maybe? So get one that, that either cut that off at that point, but when you are wearing a wig grip and you put that and you ordered your wig based on the measurements of measuring with no wig grip, so you measured it with no wig grip on. This is going to add, if you remeasure this with the wig grip on and go around that, all that fabric and bulk, you're gonna be adding almost a half of an inch to the measurement of your circumference. So when you put the wig on, you may be saying, the wig is too small for me. It's too little, it doesn't fit me. But the, the problem may be that you didn't take this into the equation. And so therefore, 
you're trying to add a half an inch inside maybe a petite, petite average cat, and that's not gonna fit. And you think they gave sent you the wrong size. Consider the bulk, consider what's underneath the cap. So it's a great solution if you ha have a cap that's maybe a little bit too big and you want to be able to fill up that gap with the wig to make it, because you don't want to return it, or maybe at that point you can't return it, you want to be able to create a better fit. Add bulk, add a wig grip, and then that's going to keep that from sliding back. But remember, when you're adding this on, you're now getting bulk down behind this ear. So you've got your glasses. And then what happens to that? Well, do you put your glasses underneath the wig grip? Do you put it on top? Well, you're just gonna have to decide that for yourself if you're wearing a wig grip, where you want that to go. But remember, that's adding, see that space there with the glasses, the, the you know thickness of the glasses? Now you're adding a wig grip. You're adding more thickness behind the ear. And where is that hair going to tuck? It has a place to tuck. So what's going to happen is, is then you're going to get your ear bending forward. That's what causes that bend in the ear, is that there's too much going on behind the ear. So when I put my glasses on, I like to make sure that I take that cap. You know how you have the back of the, the, the edge of the cap here around your ear? Make sure it's not on top of the glasses. Move it back away from the back of your glasses. That's gonna help that lay down bare as well. The third thing is density of the wig. This is a great density. This is a low density cap. As a matter of fact, what helps with this particular wig is the inside of the cap. Now I have found, let me find my, drop my wig, is that when you have a wig that has all of this wefting, and sometimes they have a longer ear tab, and then you see you have this here, and you have all of this behind the ear, and then you add a wig grip, it's going to add more bulk around the back of the ear. There are some other suggestions I can give you. You can, if you can't return it, you can actually, with needle and thread, here behind the ear, stitch some of these wefts up, stitch them together, so that lifts, so that lifts back away from the ear. Just stitch, a couple of the wefts together, needle and thread, and that can take it the bulk off the back of the ear. It's gonna be more comfortable. The more you have going on behind the back of the ear, the more uncomfortable your wig might be and cause your ear to bend forward. So I hope that answers some of your questions that you've had about that bulk behind the ear and the ear bending forward. I hope it'll help you in deciding wig grip or no wig grip, but be sure and measure if you have a wig grip on before you order your cap, add that dimension in. There's another type of wig grip, I'll add this, that I like, and it's kind of like a three quarter. So this is gonna do the grabbing, but look at this, it's super thin, it's just that stretch jewelry cord, and you're gonna be able to not have any extra bulk, again, around the back of the ear, but maybe have a little bit of security that you want and cushion for the front of the wig if you're afraid it might slip back. Hope that helps and I'll see you my friends in the next video. Doing my darlings.